Coach Scott, first uh, opening thoughts about today's game, and then secondly, uh, reflect on this season as well. Well, my thoughts about today are we had two singles. That pretty much sums it up. Um, the season, you know, it's just uh, these girls have, uh, have, have the two years in particular that they put together has been incredible. Um, 113 wins and 16 losses over two seasons playing in the Lone Star Conference and in the South Central Region is something that I'm <clears throat> very proud of and uh, quite an accomplishment, a lot of records broken. Uh, just continue to to bring a lot of happiness to, to our fans in San Angelo and uh, you know I couldn't be more happy for them. I just hate it that this is the way that it ends but like I told them at the after the game that this isn't who they are. It's who we were this weekend but it's not who they are. Uh, so when we look back at uh, when they look back at their their careers I don't want this to be their lasting memory. I want the uh, all the, the championships that they've won, the, the victories, the huge highlights, the big hits, the big plays, that, that you know, the, just the stuff that didn't happen this weekend, that's what I want them to remember. And uh, it's real unfortunate, and I'm, I'm puzzled as everybody else as to how it happened, but it did, and you gotta give credit to, uh, to the three teams that we played, their pitchers, you know, did a great job of, uh, of, of finding something that was working with their pitcher and our hitters, and, and uh, you know, tip the caps to them, but again, you know, it's who we were this weekend, but it's not who we are. For the players, uh, are you able to reflect again? I know it's very fresh and very emotional time. Are you able to reflect and take kind of what coaches said and, 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 and be positive about the, the, the entire season and the, all the accomplishments? Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda, what can you start? Uh, yeah, I mean, most definitely because, like, I know this isn't who we are, but we had a great season, and um, I'm going to take away, like, the friendships that I made and just the journey to get here, and it was, like, a great experience, and I made friends that will be my friends for the rest of my life here. Yeah, with the, the tough loss that we took today and getting out early, earlier than we did last year, um, I'm going to take away the accomplishment of making it here again for the second year in a row. Um, sorry. Not ready for it to end, but it did, and so I'm just thankful for everybody on our team. We worked hard, and we had a tremendous season. Uh, yeah, I mean, we made it to the top six teams in the nation. You can't really, I mean, that's a great accomplishment, so I don't want any of us to put that down. This is, to be here is an amazing experience, and I've really enjoyed my four years, and I'm, I'm not sad about this. I mean, I am, but this is a good experience, and I'm happy we made it two years in a row. Coach, uh, were the, the, the pitching you saw this weekend, was it similar to anything you guys have seen throughout the season? Well, uh, <coughs> yes and no. Um, you know, there were a lot of balls up in the zone that we chased, and uh, that's something that we didn't do a ton of this year. There's there's one pitcher uh, in our conference that, that had some success on us up in the zone. Uh, but I don't know. I, I just We just needed that one big bomb really I mean we fouled so many pitches straight back we just needed to make that needed that one mistake a little bit lower that we that we could get a hold of and I think if we'd have had that one huge hit then I think that that would have relaxed us a little bit and 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 kind of break things open but it just never came and uh you know I've I've coached teams before that have been that way and you know 2008 we had a great hitting team and they didn't get out of the regional tournament because we didn't swing it that year but it just happens that's part of our sport and you got to you got to give their kids credit, but uh, you know we kept battling, we kept fighting, kept believing. You know we had our power coming up there in the seventh. If we could have just connected on a couple, who knows what? And it was saving Amanda. She was stranded on deck. I know it stinks for her senior year to get stranded on deck, but I was saving her for that big hit because she's had a lot of big ones over the over the course of her career. And you know this this group of seniors, they've been they've been great. They uh, their attitudes are awesome. They they're just great people. They're going to be successful in the future. And I'm looking forward to uh, to following their lives and seeing how everything goes for them. Uh, Amanda, uh, just asking you this question, all the players a question. So what's it like being a part of such a strong program, leaving a legacy of greatness that Angela State's had over the last few years? Um, it was amazing. It's something that uh, that you dream of when you're little to experience <laughs> and be able to have like a journey like this. And it's it's something I'll never forget. And she really means it because she's a local girl. She's yeah. 
She's grown up watching Angelo State softball all her life. Same question? Yes, yeah, um, No words, I mean speechless. Like to become, to be a part of a program that has been, has so much success, you know, over the last 10, 15 years even, they've been successful. And I think that's just something to be proud of, honestly. I think I said this last year, but when I committed to Angelo State, I told my dad, I was like, I want to go here because we have a chance of taking it all the way. And I've gotten to come here twice, so I couldn't have asked for more in my career.